Not that long ago, I shared Evernote's announcement of its new backlinks feature. When I did, I hadn't yet had a chance to play with the feature. Now, I'm ready to show you some practical uses. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards. If you like these kinds of videos about Evernote and productivity, please hit the subscribe and like buttons below. So recently, Evernote rolled out backlinks. Now you can see which notes link to the ones you are working on. I intuitively knew that this feature would be very helpful when I plan things or even research posts like this. But now that I've had a chance to use it, I'm even more pleased with how it works. So before I begin uh, showing you everything on my screen, I want to remind you that the backlinks feature was just released. So you want to make sure that you are running the current version of Evernote. It's been rolling out for uh, some time now, so you probably have it. It probably updated in the background, but if for some reason you're struggling, you don't see it, just check what version uh, you are currently working with. The only other caveat let me mention is that uh, this uh, feature is available for all of the paid plans. So if you're still running the free version, you will not have access uh, to the uh, to the backlinks feature. So let me take you to my screen. I have created a uh, sort of a, a, a dummy notebook uh, planning our summer vacation and I picked a, a destination of Hawaii. We've picked a tentative date. Actually, we are talking about going back to Hawaii, but uh, I don't have all of the details organized. So I've, I've created this just to give you an example of how it will work. So I, whenever I create a note for a, a notebook for one of my major projects, like planning a vacation, I create the notebook and name it. So in 2023, in the summer, we're hoping to take a vacation to, uh, to Hawaii. The first uh, uh, note that I create in the notebook is really kind of an itinerary. It's a vacation planning sheet. Uh, I always want it to stay on top, so I always put an asterisk on the top here to make sure it always stays on top. Because there's a number, it automatically rises to the top in my sort. Um, and on my itinerary, I, I want to list not only you know the title, the tentative dates uh, where, where we want to go, a little inspirational picture. And then, of course, I will link things as, um, as I create them. So when I uh, book my flights, I will create a note marked flights, and I want it to appear. The note will be here. I mean, it will have all of the information of all of my flights, but it will also create a link here on my planning sheet, my itinerary sheet. So really in a pinch, all I got to do is come to this sheet in my notebook. It's right on top, and I have access to everything that I have booked uh, to date. This will also be helpful when I'm actually taking the trip because I'll have all the flight information here. Uh, I'll have uh, my confirmation number for the hotel, things to do, the car rental, everything uh, like that. Of course, the first thing I want to show you is that the way I've created the, the, the links here, uh, as you can see, I'm using the, uh, the preview link. I could just have it list as a title, but I kind of like, I'm kind of a graphics person, so I want to click on the preview, and that gives me this little rectangle, which gives me information about the file, and then uh, an image from the uh, note. So if I click on this, if I come to my itinerary planning, and I click on this, it will now automatically take me to my note of flights. Yes, I could have clicked it here, but you know, as this list gets long, I'd much rather come to my itinerary sheet. So you will notice what happened. I clicked on that in the, in the itinerary sheet, and it took me to this note. In this upper right corner, you see the word backlinks. So remember, I linked to this page from my planning sheet, and now this backlink is telling me where I've linked it to. I've linked it to the Hawaii planning sheet. So if I want to go back to it very quickly, all I can do is click that and it will take me back to my planning sheet. Same thing with the hotel. If I click on the hotel, it will now take me to my hotel note where I will have all the information about the hotel, uh, my reservation, and the like. Here again in the upper section is the backlink. It will take me back to that main planning sheet. Now, if I had this hotel file, this hotel note, um, 
shared in a number of other folders. It would list all of them here, but because I only have one, uh, it's only listing the one. But if you had this hotel uh, maybe in a uh, folder that I was sharing with someone who was traveling with me, that folder would also appear here. Uh, if I want to go back, of course, all I got to do is click on the back button and it will take me back to the itinerary. I can also click on the next link that I put in here and that is the things to do page. And, you know, that might, that'll give me ideas for, uh, for how I want to book things. So if I want to uh, create a new note, let's say now I want to create a new note and I want to start looking for uh, car rentals. And uh, eventually I'll have info on rental and my reservation number. So now I want to create, I want to make sure that that is also on my uh, planning sheet. So what I want to do in this case is I want to click on the three dots, click on the internal link. All right, now it's remembering that link in the clipboard. I go back here to the planning document and I can paste it in there. And you notice now it's listed just as a car rental. But if I come over here and I say convert to preview, now it will be uh, here on my home page. Click on that and I now go to the car rental sheet. I think this whole the same system would work, for example, if you have a table of contents that you're creating um, for a series of uh, files. Uh, if you're researching articles, uh, oftentimes when I'm writing a blog post, I will come up with a topic and then I want to find articles about this topic and I will append them to my various notes, but I want to link back to my main note uh, so that I can write from that note. So look, the, the backlinks rolled out for me as I'm recording this less than a week ago and uh, I decided to try it and this was the first opportunity I had to use it. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to find many other ways of using links and backlinks uh, into the future. And I really think you'd benefit from just playing around and seeing how backlinks and links will work for you. Let me know how you are using backlinks and what you think about the feature. Post a comment below. And if you want to see more about how I use Evernote as my sole productivity system, check out my course, Evernote for Beginners. I go through each and every feature of Evernote. I show you my system. And when Evernote does major updates, I keep adding to this course. You buy it once, you get access to all of my updates. You can find out more about my course, Evernote for Beginners, at my website, DaveEdwardsMedia.com. Click on Courses.